views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Now is the time for your weekly dose of natural medicine and education. Join Campbell practitioner Ginny Rutherford and psychic Todd Rolson as they share their inspiration with humanity and discuss the healing benefits of Campbell medicine. The results are astounding. Coming up in the next hour of Campbell Talk Radio, discover how Campbell realigns the true self. Now, here are your hosts, Ginny and Todd. Welcome, everyone. Uh, this is Cambo Talk. Welcome to our second show. We're super excited about it. I'm here with, uh, I'm Jenny Rutherford, and I'm here with co-host Todd Wilson. Hi, everybody. Hey, Todd. And, of course, uh, we want to say hi to Justin this today, our producer, because he's always on board helping us through the program. So, hey, Justin. Hello, Jenny. Nice to hear uh, your voice. Thank you. Glad to speak it. Yeah, perfect. So today we are going to continue our conversation around Cambo and give you just more information about how this process works. And today we really kind of want to go into the step-by-step process. Last week we talked about what Cambo is, um, how it's used, some of the particulars around it, just to, get, to kind of get you educated around that. And today we want to really go into the process because most people want to know, well, how do you do this and um, what are the steps to it? Yeah, and, and um, it's nice to know exactly what to do because everyone has their own path and their own way. And you'll, you know, if you're not trained by the IAKP, then, you know, it could be completely different. This is just a really nice basic way that Cambo is presented and done. And we're going to do that step by step. But before that, I think we wanted to just talk a little bit about setting space. Um, and the reason for that is that everything needs a base and setting space is super important. Jenny and I actually, uh, when I arrived today, we were talking a little bit about that and just, you know, what's in the room and, and what is the energy and what is the attunement or alignment or whatever. You want to add to that, Jenny? Well, I think that's a really important aspect um, of how the process works. So it kind of starts before you actually show up. Yes. And you're right. Um, different practitioners will do it somewhat differently. And yet um, there's a common theme around it. Uh, some practitioners don't sing and some practitioners, you know, don't have you drink as much water. Uh, there's all different ways of doing it. So the way we're going to talk about it is how I've learned to do it through the IAKP. Yeah, but you have a pretty unique way of setting space too. So I, I wanted to, because Jenny is, I mean, she's kind of the professional. I, I am here in periphery and, um, you know, I can tune into the medicine. I've done Cambo six times. I've, you know, it's a different experience when you're kind of in charge, so to speak. So I'd like to really know how you set the space. And then, uh, of course, you know, I'm sure I'll add a few things. For sure. And yeah. I'm pretty ritualistic about it in some ways. Um, I always start Cambo at 10 a.m. in the morning because people have gone 12 hours without eating. And so I like to get started in the morning. People feel fresh and ready to go. So, but for myself, I go through a bit of a process about an hour before we get started. Mm -hmm. Um, before people arrive, I start setting up my, um, altar, so to speak. Um, and get my all my tools ready and out on my tray and um and it's quite methodical about it you know so i make sure everything's clean and tidy well just to stop you right there for a second i mean what is on your altar i think that's just yeah. interesting well i mean i like um <laughs> you know a lot of people use some of the things from um uh, from the jungle from the amazon some of their things they have picked up along the way. And some people use Buddhas and some people use all kinds of different things. And I think uh, everybody will set it up according to what speaks to them. So for me, I set mine up kind of um, <clears throat> shabby chic. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> and, and I'll have you know, Jenny's really classy. So, uh, <laughs> but what a shabby chic. <laughs> well, I kind of have my own look. I like. Uh, I don't use a lot of stuff from the, uh, it, you know, the, of uh, from South America on my, on my altar. I like um, to keep it kind of neutral. Uh -huh. So I like color. So I use a lot of different colors that I know are very harmonious. I always have my Cambo uh, stick on the tray, so it's kind of absorbing energy. Um, <clears throat> I use one of your energy discs that was created for Cambo. Uh, mm -hmm. has the frequency yeah. of the medicine. I use that on there. I have candles. I have frogs. Um, I have a little – some stones, some made out of hearts that look nice. like hearts. And so just things that kind of speak to me. Um, and, of course, like I say, I'm very organized about it, so uh, – I spend quite a bit of time. I mean, there's something very uh, meditative about setting up my altar. And so I spend some time doing that. And that's a way of starting to create the space. So when you're creating the space, I mean, what's your process or what do you, how do you do that? Yeah, I usually, once I get that done and I get kind of things organized, I will pr usually put on some soothing music and then I just sit in the space. Um, I start, uh, actually, I start lighting some um, sage. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll kind of clean the space with sage and I'll use some incense also to kind of clean the space and clear it. Um, sometimes I open the windows to just kind of air it out. Nice. Um, and then I will just sit in the space and start um, getting into that meditative place of mm -hmm. just calling in, you know, settling myself so that I am fully present for the medicine Nice. And I, I pull in some energy um, because it does take some energy to do this work. And um, I start setting protections around the space um, and just get it in into that really soft, um, like I start opening up myself because, you know, kind of as we walk through the world, sometimes we keep ourselves a little shut down and, and uh, protected. And so I find that I sit and start opening up my own space a little bit inside myself so that when people show up, I can be fully present to them with no judgment um, and in that place of compassion and love and grace. Lovely. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I know I, I mentioned it, this in the first show, but uh, a lot of people have done medicine, um, have, have come to Jenny and it's a different experience. And, and that's why, you know, we're working intuitively like I do, we kind of, Jenny and I, you may not know this, but you will now. It's like, we basically are deciding what to do almost right before the show. And one of the things that spirit uh, wanted to talk about was setting space, because I think for me, you know, if the space is correct, it's the medicine's going to be more effective um, the alignment and your experience. And Jenny does a great job with that. And, uh, you, but you've talked about building some kind of chi bubble yeah. or something, right? <laughs> a chi <laughs> That's bubble. That's what she calls it. Yeah, I call it a chi field, actually. Yeah. And you could call it all kinds of things. You could call it an energy field. You could call it a prana, whatever term somebody wants to use. I prefer to call it chi yes. um, just because of some of my studies with uh, Ren Zhui and um, Qigong. Uh, so I prefer to call it chi. And I start – you're right. I start building that space, that chi energy uh, into the space because, um, do you know, in the universe, there's a way in which we're reading information, you know, right. that's an information universe and what's in that field, the information in that field can make a big difference in what happens. And so I make sure that I put in the proper information that I'm not putting in fear information or, um, you know, something that doesn't align with the medicine into that field. And, you know, that sounds uh, so simple, but as you know, we're all so busy and, you know, the base is always the key. You know, that's what I like to think yeah. of as far as energy. Uh, my base is pure alignment, so to speak. So I'm kind of always set for just knowing, but most people are just working on that and approaching that or getting to understand as possible. So having this base for Cambo and base for holding space and the intent of everyone receives exactly what they need to receive is very high magic. You know, the magicians uh, or the Wiccans or, or whoever, they're always using a little ritual. Now, of course, you can get really fast at it and just like command it, so to speak. But in the meantime, you know, setting your intent is a key factor for receiving, don't you think? Absolutely. And we can... 
you know, I continue to create space as people arrive because they're bringing yes. in their own energy and a little bit of fear, a, a lot, yeah, <laughs> some fear and, you know, all kinds of things they're bringing in also. So as they come and we set, in the space, we are continuing to create the space. Right. And we will continue to pull in chi. I do a little exercise with them ahead of time so that they're putting in their own information also. And it gives nice. them a chance to just settle in also and release some of their Well, I really like the idea of inviting, you know, the people to participate because then, then we become more community oriented. And being community oriented means we all get more effect. And well, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. And it also makes us responsible for our own, uh, life and our own experience because people come in thinking somebody's going to do something to them and, you know, I don't have any control and, and yet we have all the control. So when people come into the space, I want them to understand that they have the control here. This is their, um, their, their experience. So they need to take some responsibility for their experience. Well, and I just think just showing up, for Cambo is, is quite a bit of, you know, yeah, strength and, and will. And, you know, obviously the frog talks to, you, you know, I, I just have to mention last night I was at home and, and it just, the whole house smelled like earth and I'm like, Oh, okay. Cambo show tomorrow. And I, I don't usually smell a lot. So it was just, I thought maybe there was something in the drain rotten, rotting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a comment I get all the time from people is that they, smell the earth when they're getting yeah. ready to take Cambo or when in their home, when they're, you know, a lot of times people will go back and forth about, um, you know, what, how should I go or should I not? They try to talk themselves out of it. And then they'll tell me, and then all of a sudden I felt, I smelled this earth, earthy smell. And I just knew that I was supposed to go do this. So it's, uh, I, I hear that a lot. Yeah. And, and I think that's a, you know, we're talking about setting space. Well, if your intent is to get the most out of the medicine, you're going to find these alignments. And, and I think that's kind of the magical aspect of, of like really being present and really being ready to receive what you're going to receive. Cause Cambo, as, as we're going to talk quite a bit about it's, it's a living alive, higher dimensional medicine, so to speak. And what I mean by that, it's alignment is very high, much higher than almost any medicine I know of. And it's, it's purifying. For sure. And I always get a lot of, uh, uh, people who want to know all the answers around Cambo and there are a lot of answers, but then also, um, sometimes I just have to say it's, there's just a magic quality to it. And so we have to just kind of trust the medicine on that. Um, so, um, Todd, when we come back from our break here, it's time for our first break here. I want to go a little bit more into the actual process of when you show up and maybe we can talk a little more about that setting space too, but okay, we'll get through the process. And so people have an idea about what to expect when they do do Cambo. Woohoo. All right. So we'll be right back, everyone. Um, you are listening to Ginny and Todd with Cambo Talk. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Are you traveling most of your day? Do you want to take Transformation Talk Radio with you anywhere you go? Well, guess what? There's an app for that. Just go to the App Store on your Apple device or the Google Play Store on your Android and search Transformation Talk Radio. Catch all of our live shows no matter where you are. Thanks for listening. Do you feel that there's a bigger, better life for you? Is there anything holding you back from living the life you were meant to live? If you'd like to find your life's true purpose and calling, join the world's foremost authority on primal spirituality, David Carshare, in Becoming a Sun Radio, Emotional and Spiritual Intelligence for a Happy, Fulfilling Life. Tune in once a month to Becoming a Sun Radio with David Carshare on the Dr. Pat Show and Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit davidcarshare.com today. 
Discover the healing medicine from the giant monkey tree frog, Cambo. Cambo practitioner Ginny Rutherford and professional psychic Todd Rolson have come together for lively discussions of alternative healing medicines from the Amazon. Ginny and Todd bring you Cambo Talk Radio. Tune in each Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific to hear from guests all over the world with real life stories and the medicinal benefits of Cambo. For more information, visit CamboKiss.com. Do you ever feel as if you're working twice as hard but only getting half as far? Are you trying to connect with your path in life and finding it elusive? Mainstream Metaphysics Radio is a weekly call-in show where we harness our connection with the universe and use what is in our power to affect change for optimal success and happiness. This hit show bridges the divide between what is and what we do not know. Eve, named one of the country's top psychics, also known as the MBA Psychic, invites you on this journey for this live call-in show with readings, featured guests, leaders, and visionaries in both business and spiritual callings. So join Eve Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com as she takes metaphysics mainstream. For more information about Eve, visit EliteTarot.com. That's EliteTarot.com. everyone we are back i'm jenny rutherford with todd rolson and we are cambo talk uh, so t- today we are talking about actually uh, the step-by-step process of taking cambo and we've been talking about how to set space uh before people even show up yes and um i think that's a really super important aspect of it on all levels because it helps me to get into the proper uh, space. It, it's the space feels really good when people walk in. So, um, I think that's a, a really important aspect. Yeah. Well, what's most important, I would say showing up. <laughs> it is the most important. <laughs> so let's get into the step-by-step because, uh, you have to sign up so to speak, and you have to be called and you have to want to do it and be willing to get to some of the deep core issues that have been nagging you for a long time. And I, you know, just exactly. in support of Cambo, it's it's definitely a big time healer medicine in my point of view. And uh, but let's get into the step by step. So what? Perfect. Well, Ginny knows. So I'm gonna just I'll bring in a few things, but fire away. Yeah. Well, you know, most people once they contact me and are ready to to sign up, um, I will send them some, an information sheet that talks about some of the things that they need to do to prepare for Cambo. Right. And of course. Um, one really important aspect of it is before you come, well, let me know what kind of issues you have. A lot of people have medical issues or they're on certain medications. I always like to know that ahead of time so we can get prep, uh, prep for that. But then the other thing is that I always ask people, you fast for 12 hours before you take Cambo. So if we start at 10 a.m., then I ask you to stop eating at 10 at night. Yeah, and, um, just, and just to add to that, I mean, I just found for me that I just – ate really lightly the day before too, because yeah. it just feels, you just feel a little lighter going into it. Definitely. And, um, then I also ask people not to have any alcohol or, uh, you know, drugs of any kind beforehand. Uh, so within that 12 hour period also to stay mm-hmm. away from that. Um, just because this is a sacred medicine and it really does require you to have, um, some serious and, and respect uh, for what you're about to do. So I ask people to just, uh, abstain from that. And, and the one thing I meant, want to mention, because I know we haven't yet, this is a non hallucinogenic medicine. Exactly. There, this is not tied in with any of that. This is a straight up medicine. Okay, go ahead. Perfect. And and thank you for saying that yeah, too, because a lot of something... people think there is another frog out there, the bufo frog that does, uh, cause, um, d- uh, hallucinations, but Campbell is not that medicine. No, it's a straight up medicine it is. for the spirit and the body and that's it. And I like to call it an ordeal medicine because it is a bit of an ordeal and it does take a lot of heroics and courage to come and be able to face your um, your issues. So uh, when you show up, um, most people have a little bit of a restless night that first night. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> chuckle, you know, chuckle. Yeah, and we laugh. Um, when you show up, um, we, we sit and we chat for just a little while that first day. 
just to, and I always have people do three days in a row and a lot of, not every practitioner does that, but I like to do that. And the reason I like to do that is because that first day that you take Cambo, you know, we're just trying to get through the process. Now yes. you'll get benefit from it and you'll get that medicine in your system, but you're just trying to get through the process of feeling what this medicine feels like in you. Um, and people have some very, you know, very, very strong uh, processes with it on that first day. But, you know, I think the second day is when people come ready to do some work and yes. they go into some much deeper level. And um, I think you have more Cambo in you too. So you can go to those deeper levels. And then on the third day, I always call it like the cherry on top. It's the day that just feels like everything's complete. And again, not every uh, practitioner does that. I do that because it's like an inoculation um, that you do it within a, a lunar cycle. Um, and once you've done that inoculation, then you can come for a, a onesie. Yeah, and I would love to talk about, you know, how long the medicine stays in the system and so forth. But for now, we're we're just doing step by step. Yeah. So, you know, people will show up and they're yeah, going so to get some information, some discussion, yep. kind of, you know, just relax a little just bit, get, get to know each other. Yeah, to kind of get to know each other, because I think it's no accident who shows up. Oh, for that, sure. That, yeah. that, each one of those people are supposed to be there. And I, I don't always know why, but as time goes on, we all start seeing why every, those people showed up together to do, um, to do the work. And so once we get a little bit comfortable and people start feeling, uh, you know, I can feel that their energy level, their, uh, fear is starting to subside a little bit in their anxiety. Uh, then I open the circle. Yes. And I think that's a really important aspect too, of actually inviting the spirit of this medicine into the space. Um, I always ask people cause everybody has some different beliefs. Um, and so mm -hmm. I want to be uh, respectful of everyone's beliefs. So I generally ask people to invite their own um, angels or guides or their higher self or their ancestors, whatever term they use to be in the space with them. Lovely. Uh, and just to, uh, you know, cheer them on, to be with them, to give them some guidance and, you know, help them through the process. Um, and then I set uh, kind of that energy field of protection around the space. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then I ask everybody to help to do the same thing. So they're going to help bring in chi energy also into the circle. So everybody is kind of having their own energy into the circle, you know, so we're all kind of connecting on that level. Um, and that feels really good. Most people really love that. And everybody kind of sinks into themselves and they get really calm. And Yeah, because being relaxed through this process is certainly going to make the job easier, so to speak. Don't yeah. you think? Oh, for sure. It's yeah. one of my favorite times is getting everybody kind of settled in because mm -hmm. they go from this high anxiety to just very peaceful. Yeah, so the group is kind of all together, and now it's time to look at the individual. What's next? Yeah. For, because you can't do everybody at once. I mean, no. So I start out with um, one of the other jungle medicines that we'll talk about in greater depth at another show, but it's called Sananga. It's an eye drop. It's called Lightning in the Eye. It's made from a, a bush in the jungle, and it's an antiseptic for the eye. So the idea behind that is because I see so many people, their energy – is not embodied. You know, they're like outside of their body a lot, right. not grounded. Especially and, if they're in fear. Oh, well, for sure. Yeah. But we are kind of by nature in some ways in yes. this culture. So I, um, so the Sananga will kind of brings them down into their body to be present. And um, it starts to leave. We talked about Panema last week about, you know, the negative energy and that they use in the jungle. It's what they call. Right. And Panema could be like depression, depression, sad, you know, over yeah. lots of sadness. Yeah. And, yeah. Sometimes they call it laziness and sure. all that. So it, it already starts to relieve that a little bit, but it also pulls everybody into their body and they feel they're super present then. Yeah. And I have to tell you, Sananga is uh, – <laughs> It, it, lightning in the eye is a good word for it. But it, it, for me, it really just kind of got me more mentally present. Yeah. So is that that's a common side effect? Absolutely. Would you say? What other side effects with that? Well, it's an antiseptic. I, um, a lot of people, when they actually open up their eyes after taking Sananga, everything seems a little more colorful. The colors seem more clear. And, um, you know, they see better. Oh, okay. So it has a lot of uh, benefits on just the physical level also. Yeah, so everyone gets, you know, lays down, gets those drops, and gets the boom, drops. that brings you in your body. It, it kind of helps you see with clarity. Makes every It makes everything more present. I think, I think it makes every everything present. Yeah. 
Um, and so then we decide kind of who's going to go first. Sometimes people will just, I want to go first. And sometimes it's just an intuitive on my part as to who should go first. Sure. And um, so they start drinking water. A and lot you, of water. A lot of work. So everybody. But it's not ridiculous. I don't well, think. Well, it's two liters. Everybody yeah. brings two liters of water with them. And um, they start drinking the water. And it's yes. and I take people like one or two at a time. I try to keep my circle somewhat small because I want to give everybody individual attention. Sure. So if I have a bigger circle, I usually have an assistant with me. But if I have, uh, you know, five or under, I generally do it myself. And so I will start the first person drinking their water. Um, and then I kind of have it set up so the everybody knows who's going to go next and next and next. Yes. And so I always give them kind of when this person's doing this, then you start drinking. Yes. And so we kind of go down the line then. And um, it's really hard to be the last one in the group to watch everybody else's <laughs> process that first time. So I always kind of feel sorry for them. Um, sorry if I chuckle. Yes. <laughs> but um, – so once they get their water down, and believe me, you feel – so why we drink so much water is that this is an alchemical process. Again, the medicine being fire and this is the water. So you are really happy you drank all that water. And, of course, you haven't eaten for 12 hours, so um, your stomach's empty. And so the first thing I do is a test point. So if I – let's just say that I'm going to give you uh, three points on your leg. Uh -huh. I will – I will burn the three gates. And, and just remind us, like, you're using a uh, incense stick. And you do stick. have to, to get the medicine into the body, you do have to burn what you call gates, which are small burn points with incense. And that's how the medicine gets into the body. Exactly. And that's really the easiest part of the whole thing. Yes, I agree. Where even, <laughs> although most people are most fearful of that, it is the easy part. Yes. Um, so I'll get those th those three gates or however many gates you're getting. And I start out with a test point if it's the first time you've taken Cambo. So I'll put one uh, little globule of uh, the medicine on that. Frog, frog. essence. Frog, yeah. <laughs> yes, frog essence. <laughs> frog perfume or whatever you like It looks like, like snot, by the way. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, you have a visual. It's like a runny snot. It's kind of it's kind of coagulated, though, so it's like, yeah. a snot, it's like a booger. It's like those real <laughs> sticky snots, you know, that kind of you can ball up. Exactly. So I put the uh, one dot on just to kind of see how you're going to, you know, how yeah. you're going to feel. And it gives you a chance to just kind of feel the medicine and not, uh, you know, get, get it in your system. You're a very bit. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I leave that on for about a couple of minutes just to let you get the feeling of the medicine. And then I, if you, if you're doing fine and everybody does fine, I've never had anybody just panic, but, um, I will add the rest of the medicine. No, but at the same time, again, you know, please remember if you're going to do this medicine, you have to be honest with your practitioners yes. on what kind of medication you've been on, what kind of issues you have, if you have any mental issues going on. I mean, I I've talked with Jenny, well, Jenny and I have talked about this extensively and in some of the training, since I've been there, it's very important that you're just honest and let them know because it's going to be revealed. It, it will be. Yes. One way or the other. And there is no judgment in our circle. No, of course not. Absolutely none. So maybe uh, a few chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I take that back. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, there's just no judgment. So whatever happens, happens. And whatever you're, you know, yeah. I, I just don't have any judgment around any of that. Uh, what your processes are. Exactly. So, so you've, you're going to burn the gates into the first person, mm -hmm. you know, is there a better word than burn or is that just the right word? Well, I, I know we, I think that's just the right word. Okay. All I right. Really I just is. didn't know if there was. Maybe you'd say we, we, you know, create gates. Yeah. Uh, but people don't understand that. No. So we have to use burn. Okay. Uh, yeah. We just burn the gates. Yeah. Um, and then we put the rest of the medicine on. And so then what happens is that, and, and everybody can have different experiences, but there are some generalizations that people feel. And it's based on the, you know, what is happening physical from the medicine. So the first thing is that you will start feeling some heat. A lot of heat yeah. for and, some of us. <laughs> and we can, I mean, I can see the process going on. You can, you'll have, you'll turn quite red. Yes. And sometimes people's ears will burn or they'll, um, you know, kind of, uh, Throb. You well, know? and the reason for that is because the medicine is exposing the toxins in the body. Is that correct? Or well, is there another? Is there yeah, another it's actually going to start breaking that blood brain barrier also. So um, you'll start feeling that heat first. 
And then you might feel your cheeks tingling and like I say, your ears throbbing and you'll start, and most people will feel their heart beating in their neck, you know, uh -huh. or their face. Um, and that is when it's breaking that blood brain barrier. And that will only last for about, I don't know, 30 seconds to 45 seconds. It's, but it's really, quite overwhelming from it's, personal it, experience. It, yeah, it feels I mean, overwhelming. It, well, it's basically the medicine's in complete control and yep. you submit, you are submitting to it, which which why not, you know, let's get through this. Exactly. <laughs> and again, your blood pressure is rising. Yes. So then it starts to drop. Um, and you can watch, you can see that happen with people too. So you can watch all the little physical effects. Then people start turning a little pale. Right. And in, in the meantime, I'm sorry, I keep breaking up, but yep. I'm, I'm seeing, you, you have to remember this is a purging medicine. So you will have a bucket yes. in front of you. Absolutely. A big bucket. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you're fully prepared. Yes. Uh, you know, like you don't have to get up and try to run to the bathroom or anything. You have a bucket right there with you yes. so that you're, you can just sit there and go through the process. And there be, might be some drumming and some rattling yep. and some beautiful songs, which is my favorite part. Mine too. Yeah. Um, so you'll, once the, uh, once you've kind of gone through that blood brain barrier and you've, like I say, you start feeling a little bit, uh, you start feeling a little uh, pale and some that's sometimes people can kind of uh, what I call a white out um, where the medicine just kind of overcomes you and you submit to it and your blood pressure is dropped. And, and those are, I'm sure we'll do another show, all the experiences with that. Absolutely. But right now it's like you, you are in the medicine and mm -hmm. the buckets in front of you yep. and you're ready. Yeah. So most of the time then you'll start feeling like the, uh, this ball in the bottom of your stomach down very low and it starts to rise and it continues to rise and continues to rise. And sometimes you can feel it, you know, like it's stuck, um, but it, it'll start rising and then, then you purge. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, ultimately the purging is, is the next big step period. Exactly. Now within that, there's all kinds of other things that can happen. This is like, um, the way it normally happens or, you know, the, I, I hate to say perfect outcome because whatever happens is the perfect outcome. Yes. Um, but most people feel really good when they can actually purge. Well, yeah, I think you, you almost feel a necessity to yeah. purge. I mean, that's my experience. I want this water out of me. I want to release, you know, whatever is in me. And, and it's not just physical. I mean, I, when I've done it, it super cleans my in, internal organs, liver, gallbladder, kidney, and you can see that in the bucket, but, uh, yeah. but it also is working on other levels too. Definitely. And it's, a, you know, I feel much better when I can purge. So that's, you know, what I hope to do, but there's some, you know, sometimes people don't purge. So I don't, true. I don't want to be always chasing the purge. Right. Um, so I always tell people that what you get is what you need to see. Sometimes uh, Campbell's always showing us something and how we go through the process is as important of an aspect as anything else. Right. So at that point, after the initial purge, uh, what's next? Then it, people will purge for as long as they feel like they need to. Okay. Um, and uh, sometimes I will have some sage that will help people with their purge. Sometimes I have them drink a little more water. Um, so all kind of, sometimes I will sing because these medicines from the jungle, they resonate with sound. Just, yes, um, for sure. Yeah. And so these, um, uh, Cambo songs kind of resonates the medicine and, um, and so sometimes it can be really helpful for people to help them with their purge or whatever else that Campbell's trying to do. Sometimes we have songs that, you know, are, are help them to bring up another emotion. Um, so, you know, sometimes the medicine is just intuitively we're picking the song that. So in helps general, along the way. and uh, how long is the purge process? It can be anywhere from 10 minutes to 40 minutes. Um, it just depends. Uh, on, on, you know, each person and, um, how, how much they're willing to let go or, you know, all kinds of different scenarios on that. So, uh, Todd, it's time for our second break. Wow. It's just going by so quickly. Okay. Um, so what we'll do here is when we come back, um, we'll continue, we'll continue on some of the other things that can happen and how you recover and, um, go through a full process. Great. All right. You guys are listening to Cambo Talk with Ginny and Todd. We will be right back.
Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to transformationradio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Discover the healing medicine from the giant monkey tree frog, Cambo. Cambo practitioner Ginny Rutherford and professional psychic Todd Rolson have come together for lively discussions of alternative healing medicines from the Amazon. Ginny and Todd bring you Cambo Talk Radio. Tune in each Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific to hear from guests all over the world with real life stories and the medicinal benefits of Cambo. For more information, visit CamboKiss.com. Are you looking for the perfect setting for your next workshop or retreat? At Spirit Fire Meditative Retreat Center, cultivating consciousness is what we do best. Our guests count on us to create an atmosphere that supports serenity and well-being. We lead from the heart and create space for the mind. Freshly prepared meals designed with local and organic ingredients, 95 acres of beautiful woods and pastures, and a facility built with green in mind. This is what you'll find at Spirit Fire. For more information, visit SpiritFireRetreatCenter.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Bree Gibbs is a fourth-generation high priestess with the knowledge to raise your vibration and conscious creation. Offering a wide variety of services from goddess light and shamanic healing seminars to private reading sessions, Bree works with you so you too can stand in your own power. Isn't it about time you took your life into your own hands? For more information about Bree's services and products, visit silvergaia.com. That's silvergaia.com. Tune in to the hit show, Mouthing Off, with Chef Rossi. Chef Rossi mouths off about different subjects in pursuit of breaking down walls and opening up your minds. She and Dr. Pat banter back and forth, taking from the headlines of the day on subjects that reach beyond what goes on in the world into your hearts. And go to theragingskillet.com to find out more and let Chef Rossi know what's on your mind. All right, we're back. Uh, so this is, I'm Ginny Rutherford with Todd Rolston, and we are Cambo Talk. And in our last little segment, we were talking about, we just finished with the purge. We're kind of going through all the step-by-step process with Cambo, and we, we finished with the purge. Anything I, you think I missed on that, Todd? Bucket, there's a bucket. There's a bucket. And you're purging into it. And I you're purging into it. I think that about covers it. <laughs> and you are in the medicine. It's, it's totally taken over your body, so to speak. And it's not like you're unconscious, you know, you're, no. you're, you're in it and you're, but you're, it's a physical presence. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, you're fully present. A lot of people will tell me they actually feel where the medicine's going in their body. Yes. Um, so they can feel it working in a certain area. And some of the things I've experienced myself and a lot of my clients tell me is if you have a physical problem or you have had one, a lot of people have had surgery in the past, they will feel the medicine go right to that surgical spot. Yeah. Um, I, I remember a little story about I had a I was having a kidney issue that was just bothering me. It was hurting. And I decided to take some Cambo and it went right to that spot. So during the process of having the Cambo on, my kidney was hurting super bad because that's where it was it was going. Wow. But once I took it off and was finished, it just didn't hurt anymore. And I, I really haven't had that again. And, you know, I think that's one of the reasons that we love Cambo, or I, I love Cambo speaking for myself, is it because it's such a conscious medicine, um, it will go to the source of what 
what's necessary. It, it, I've seen it, you know, I mean, we'll get into what we've seen, but it's, it can go into spiritual issues too, even like curses and all kinds of crazy stuff. For but sure. that's a whole nother show. That's a whole nother show. So, on so when we're done, you know, when you're done purging, you know, yeah. what's, what's next? When you're done purging, then I take the medicine off. Yeah. Uh, when you feel like you've really purged out and I'm kind of watching, you know, like I say, I don't chase the purge because some people have a downward purge. Right. Um, and what does that mean? And that means you're going to go to the restroom and, okay. and you know, downward purge. <laughs> Just what it sounds like. That's what? That's fairly common. Wouldn't you it say is. that yeah. it's combined? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it is a combined. It's combined. Yeah. Some people will have a downward purge and every time you take Campbell, it's a little different. It, it is actually, it's completely different. So you can have something different the second time you take it yes. uh, rather than uh, different from the first. So um, once you are finished, I take the cambo off and you recover pretty quickly as far as, you know, not feeling bad uh, within a couple of minutes, you start feeling good again, but you're tired. Yes. Uh, so most people will lay down and, and just re rest. Some people will fall asleep. Some people just rest. Yeah. And, and, since the medicine overwhelms you at first, for me, you know, going through this process, it just totally overwhelms me. And then I'm kind of, I purge and I'm done. You know, I'm just physically a bit tired. And I, I found that I recuperate probably pretty quickly compared to some. Yeah, most people will recover pretty well within 30 or 40 minutes. Uh -huh. um, and then they're ready to go, ready to go home, you yes. know, and just, and then they'll go home and rest more. Some people will just like... I hear people say, well, it's the best sleep I've ever had, or I slept for 16 hours afterwards and felt really good. And um, so it just depends. Everybody will have a different experience. That's why I can talk about generalizations. And as we go along, we'll have some guests on who've taken Campbell and talk about their experiences, but because they're all different. Yeah. And we'll have a, quite a bit of guests coming up. We're, we're just trying to set the base. Yes, you know, as we talked about holding space, our first four programs are really about setting the base uh, being an educational resource for Cambo across the planet. And so that way, anybody who's interested in Cambo can listen to this podcast. So it's, it's you know, the goal is a resource. Yeah, definitely a resource um, because there isn't really anything like this right now. Um, and definitely don't want to, uh, again, sensationalize this at all. So, um, Todd, it looks like we're ready for our third break here. So when we come back, I kind of want to talk about the after effects, like of what to expect after Cambo. Oh, brilliant. All right. So we'll be right back. You're listening to uh, Cambo Talk with Ginny and Todd. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. Discover the healing medicine from the giant monkey tree frog, Cambo. Cambo practitioner Ginny Rutherford and professional psychic Todd Rolson have come together for lively discussions of alternative healing medicines from the Amazon. Ginny and Todd bring you Cambo Talk Radio. Tune in each Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific to hear from guests all over the world with real life stories and the medicinal benefits of Cambo. For more information, visit CamboKiss.com. When your body is awakened, your spirit comes alive. Dana Canetto is a transformational guide, embodiment coach, and spiritual mentor assisting women in realigning with their truth and embodying who they are by connecting to the wisdom of their body. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio and the Dr. Pat Show Network for Body Divinity Radio with Dana Canetto. For more information on Dana and her services, visit danacanetto.com. That's D-A-N-A-C-A-N-N-E-T-O.com. 
Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLoose.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. All right, welcome back, everyone. I'm Jenny Rutherford here with Todd Rolson. Uh, we're talking Cambo Talk. Um, and when we our last break, when we left, we had uh, kind of finished the process and everyone was rested. Yes. Um, and we're going through the whole process here today, the step by step. So in this segment, we'll talk about what to expect afterwards. Yeah, well, you're going to have to get up at some point. <laughs> Eventually, you're going to have to get up and, yeah, and leave, go home. Leave. <laughs> exactly. This is a full service place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so once you've rested for about that, you know, 30 to 40 minutes, um, I usually have a cup of tea for you and yeah. sometimes a little snack. Jenny's really sweet. She'll she'll get you tea. She'll give you a blanket. <laughs> sometimes she makes goodies. Exactly. I mean, in the retreat that's coming up, we're going to do the full you know, yeah. meals and yeah. you, you stay get to at stay. that place. Yeah. yeah, that's different. Those, those, I love those kind of retreats because it's just, uh, it's just so much easier to go through the process. Yeah, and just a reminder, that's on Memorial Day for the first one, the inaugural one, and that's... Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Actually, I think it's starting Friday. Yeah, night, whatever Jenny Saturday, says. Sunday, and Monday. <laughs> <laughs> She's the organizer. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but we'll talk about that too yes. before the end of this uh, this segment. But what to expect? Because um, I think setting people's expectations around this medicine is really important. Yes, very uh, important. Because it's not a magic. Uh, it's not a magic bullet. Uh, it's not going to. Well, I kind of disagree with that. I think it's, well, yeah, it's super magical because it can just super clean your system. It advances you at at a much faster rate than any medicine I've seen. It's non-hallucinogenic. So there's no side effects from, you know, a lot of the hallucinogens have side effects, which I would love to talk about later. Um, Well, in that that respect, But it isn't a magic I'm saying that you still have to do work. You still have to do your work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So because I don't want people coming and saying, oh, I've taken three rounds of Cambo. I'm I'm perfect now. I, uh, you know, I don't have to do it. I don't think that happens very often, does it? Uh, It does a little bit. Really? But mostly I'm setting people's expectations so that they. Yeah. So okay. that they know ahead of time. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and depending on what you're working on, too, it can take – sometimes people come back for uh, extended treatments. Right, and, and because it is a medicine, I mean it's just like any medicine. You you know, It's a lot more powerful than most, but there is a process. So after the medicine is done and you leave, what, what, what do you expect? What are you going to – what's going to happen? And that, again, will vary. What I see a lot of pers- people uh, experience after that third one is that they have a lot of energy. Uh, they feel like they're in the flow. Um, you know, I always tell a story about my friend who had road rage so bad I could hardly stand to drive with her. Um, and once she did those three rounds of Cambo, she, her road rage completely went away. And Wow, we could advertise for that. Yeah. was the one. <laughs> that's the one time that, you know, that was a great expectation and it, and it happened. But some people will go home feeling absolutely like they can take on the world. Yes. And they just have so much energy and they feel great and they actually move their life forward. I've had people just go and do, feel like they can just make a decision and do it now. They have a lot of mental clarity mm-hmm. and, um, and then I have people who it will take them a, a few days to start feeling good again. Um, and a lot of that has to do with just what the medicine's working on. 
But after those few days, they turn a corner and then they're like, wow, I feel awesome. Yes. Um, so everybody gets to that place yes. of I feel awesome, but some people take longer than others. Yeah. Um, well, I think you've mentioned like even in your own family, one of one of your children just like. Oh, my changed. kids. They scared Their me. Job. To, I mean, oh they, yeah, they you know. were, that was, that was scary to give your children Cambo because as you know, as the practitioner, I know this is going to be helpful to them, this medicine, but as their mom, I'm looking at, Oh, Oh my God, look at what they're doing. <laughs> so, right. I mean, my son, he, uh, after his third one, he went home immediately. Uh, he lives in San Francisco, quit his job and moved and, those were things that really needed to be done because he was really unhappy. But as a mom looking at all of that, you know, it's like terrifying. Um, and inside myself, I knew the medicine was, I, mean, I had to trust the medicine that it was doing its its work. My daughter had the same experience where they were just shifting their lives around because Campbell really gave them the clarity of what they needed to do. And, and I have to say, you know, it's, with Jenny, one of the reasons I'm working with her, besides she's wonderful and awesome, is that she trusts the medicine. You know, there when there when a person can do something with no agenda or no ego involvement, and just like in this case, Jenny, she just she puts the medicine on and allows the medicine to do the work, and that's that's truly holding space. Yes, I, I, I and I'm impressed by that. So um, with this medicine, you're you're going to get a lot of. Uh, different feelings too. I mean, some people, it's like things open up, don't they? They do. Um, people have all kinds of experiences. Uh, some people will cry uh, because that's what they need to release. They right. have some sadness or whatever it may be. Some people will actually scream into the bucket because they have a lot of fear or anger. All of those are purges. Some people will just sweat. I mean, like they've yeah. never sweated in their whole life. And because our skin is our biggest organ, it's right. going to, you know, it's also going to do some purging uh, too. Yes. Um, so everybody will can have different experiences and you can have a different experience from one, from one treatment to the next. I don't think I've ever had one that was the same that I've taken on my own. Um, so it's, uh, it's quite a, like I say, it's a very conscious medicine and it's going to give you what you need at that moment. Yeah. And I think, you know, what I've seen with the people, I, I know quite a few people, So because sometimes I just come in support, which my support is drumming or watching the energy or clearing on uh, healing levels. But I've noticed big changes in the people who have taken the medicine. So what are the, like the three biggest changes you would say happens for people? Yeah, I think the top three is people go away with, they get a lot of clarity. Nice. So instead of all that spinning around in their head and all these thoughts and not being able to make decisions and chaos, they get clarity. And to me, that's a, that's one of the most wonderful things about it. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. The other thing I find is people feel a little calmer, not quite so anxious. They feel like they're kind of in the flow. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, uh, you know, the shamans say that, um, that it recalibrates the heart to beat with the heart of the universe, which I think is so beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, so people have a lot of that. Uh, and then um, the third thing, well, it becomes, you know, like sometimes people will make these really quite drastic decisions. But what I notice about people, honestly, sometimes uh, when they walk out, they'll go into the restroom after their third one and they walk out and I look at them and I hardly recognize them. Oh yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. It, it's almost like their energy shifted so much that they look like a different person. They have this clarity about them. They, their eyes seem bright. They seem lighter. Yes. And I, and I just see that in everyone that they, they look and feel lighter. Yes, for sure. I've seen that too. And that, that feels really magical to me when I just look over at them and I'm going, wow, they look so different. Well, as long as we're on that, what other effects do you see? Um, well, I mean, that could be as individual as, as how you go through it. Uh -huh. It really can be. I've, again, we'll have guests on that we'll talk about, but I've had people who have had um, really some uh, conditions that they've been dealing with, and Cambo has helped them with them. Um, right. Chronic pain. I've had people who have had chronic pain, and Cambo has helped them with their pain. Beautiful. Um, and some people just are more approachable. They, they, they just feel more open. I, I always like to tell this story about one of my friends who took Cambo and she had a 17 year old daughter. And after her mom took it, she came to me and she said, I want to take Cambo. And I said, well, I can't give it to you till you're at least 18. 
And I said, why do you want to take it so bad? And she said, my mom has changed so much Wonderful. that I can actually talk to her now and connect with her on a different level. So those are things that you just see happen with people is uh, these love. I think they just lighten up. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I think it brings another level of consciousness because, I mean, it's clearing physically, but it's clearing emotionally, uh, mentally, uh, even on spiritual levels, so to speak, because this is a highly evolved uh, medicine. Yeah, it really is. Well, Todd, we've come to the end of our show. This went so quick today. I know. And gone through the whole process. Um, again, if you could just tell about the retreat that's coming up in this last minute, let them bring it Yeah, know. I mean, I would just go to the website, which is cambokiss.com. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, and Ginny is building a new one, which is going to be really awesome. So this one's kind of temporary, but it allows you to contact her and link up potentially to me. My site, of course, is toddrolson.com, R-O-H-L-S-S-O-N. Beautiful. And so um, got just a few seconds here. Tyler, yeah. Great me, job. Yeah. Lovely job. I hope everybody got a lot about how this process works. And yeah. Save your questions because we'll do questions later. Everyone have a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah. This is Ginny and Todd. We're with Cambo Talk and you guys have a great day. You've been listening to Cambo Talk Radio with Ginny Rutherford and Todd Rolson. We hope you enjoyed the lively discussion of Cambo and the astounding results it manifests. Cambo Medicine is truly magical and Ginny is a powerful guide to total wellness. To find out more about this sacred medicine from the Amazon rainforest and its amazing benefits, visit cambokiss.com. That's K-A-M-B-O-Kiss.com. 